Let's have a look at 10 common mistakes in organic chemistry. Knowing the mistakes will hopefully help you to get better when you're answering questions in organic chemistry. So mistake one, have a look at this structure. This is a picture of a molecule called methanol, but what's wrong with it? Can you see the problem? That carbon looks like it's joined either to the hydrogen or somewhere between the hydrogen and oxygen. Make it clear that the carbon joins to the oxygen. Mistake two, let's have a look. Mistake two involves curly arrow mechanisms. There are a lot of mistakes with curly arrow mechanisms because they can be quite difficult to learn at first. So we'll react a molecule of ammonia with a molecule of chloromethane. Show the mechanism. Can you see the problem here? We're missing a lone pair of electrons on that nitrogen atom. You've always got to include those lone pairs. Okay, let's have a look at mistake three. Again, we'll draw a mechanism for this one. And look carefully, so you can see the problem with the mechanism. We'll react a hydroxide ion with chloromethane. Show the curly arrows. And the product gives you methanol and a chloride ion. Look carefully, can you see the mistake? We're missing the charge on the hydroxide ion. Hydroxide ions have a minus one charge. Also notice the total charge at the end is minus one. So the total charge at the beginning must also be minus one. You've always got to check your charge's balance and that'll help you spot if you're missing a charge. Also, just memorize the charges of common ions like the cyanide, hydroxide, fluoride, chloride, and bromide ions. They all have a minus one charge. Okay, mistake four. This one's to do with naming organic compounds. So let's draw ourselves an organic molecule. There's your carbon chain. Remember to pop the hydrogens in. And let's try naming this molecule. How would you name it? It looks a bit like 2 ethyl butane. But can you see the problem with that name? Look carefully. Our longest chain is actually a bent chain. And it's got a methyl group coming off there. So our longest chain has five carbons. With a methyl group coming off the third middle carbon. So it would be 3 methyl pentane. Okay, mistake five. Mistake five is to do with definitions. Often, organic chemistry, you'll be asked to give definitions, and sometimes it's tempting to try and put them in your own words or to be creative or to paraphrase a definition, but because definitions in organic chemistry are very precise and technical, it's important to just learn them, memorize definitions word for word. Okay, let's have a look at mistake six. Mistake six is another one involving mechanisms. And let's draw the mechanism out and see if you can spot the mistake. So we'll use a hydroxide ion, react it with chloromethane. Remember to put the lone pair on the hydroxide ion. And there's your first curly arrow, there's your second. As this mechanism gets more familiar to you, you should be able to see the mistake. Can you see the problem? Our curly arrow is starting from the hydrogen, not from that lone pair. You've got to start your curly arrows from an electron pair. And that second one's breaking the carbon-chlorine bond. So it either starts from a lone pair of electrons, for example, on the oxygen of the hydroxide ion, or halfway through a bond, for example, the CCL bond. It's also got to be clear where your curly arrows are going. Which atom are they attacking? OK, mistake seven. Again, this one is to do with naming. So mistake seven, we'll draw another molecule. There you go. Let's have an alcohol with four carbons in the chain. Got an OH coming off there. And let's try naming that. Is that butam 3 ol No. Can you see why not? The reason is that we have to number to give the alcohol the lowest possible number. So it would actually number from right to left. It's butam 2 ol Okay, mistake eight is to do with structures. Have a look at this molecule. This is propanone, it's a ketone. I've got carbon double bond oxygen on the middle. But there's a problem. You see that middle carbon? It's got five bonds. Carbon can only form four bonds. So propanone should actually look like this. There's no hydrogens on the middle carbon. One, two, three, four bonds. And that's good. 
So trans remember the valency of different atoms. Carbon's five, hydrogen one, oxygen two, nitrogen forms three bonds. And the halogens, chlorine, fluorine, bromine, they all form one bond. If you memorize that, that'll help you check your structures. Okay, quest uh, mistake nine is to do with um, naming again. So let's try naming a molecule. We'll have a halo alkane with three carbons. Pop chlorines on those first two carbons. One, two, chloropropane. That's the wrong name, but why? Remember, you've got to put prefixes in. We're missing the prefix. It's one, two, dichloropropane. Di means there's two chlorine atoms. Tri would be for three. Tetra would be for four. Okay, finally, mistake 10. Again, this is to do with mechanisms. Let's look at the familiar nucleophilic substitution as an example again. Nucleophilic substitution using a cyanide ion this time and chloromethane. You may be able to see the problem here. We're attacking the wrong atom. We can't attack that hydrogen atom. Top tip, remember to draw the delta plus and delta minus charges on the molecule. And that'll help guide your mechanisms. There's a delta minus on chlorine, delta plus on carbon. Chlorine's more electronegative, so we attack the delta plus carbon. But there's one more mistake that we've not talked about, and this is the biggest mistake that you'll make in chemistry. That is not subscribing to this channel. So click here and subscribe.